Samsung is going to surprise us with its flagship Note 20 lineup, but before that, the rumor market has started heating up, and we got some exciting news for you. We are here to get you only the reliable leaks and filter out all the raffle. So, let us begin. With the launch of Samsung Galaxy S20, Samsung revamped its naming convention, coming up with S20, S20 Plus, and S20 Ultra. And Samsung is going to continue this trend, so we will be seeing the Note 20 and Note 20 Plus. What Samsung is not going to continue is, its Ultra model. Reliable sources suggest, that Samsung will not be releasing an Ultra model this time. Yes. You heard it right. Young Ross, from a display chain consultant company, unveiled in a recent tweet, that Samsung is going to discontinue its Ultra model this time. Most probably due to concern of eye-watering, price tags. Though the Ultra model was becoming the first choice of die-hard fans of Samsung, but for the rest of the users who wanted to enjoy flagship phones, the price was a great concern. What do you think? Dropping the Ultra model for its pocket-friendly users, will be a great move, or it will turn into a nightmare for Samsung. Punch hole cameras have been annoying for some users, but the thing to understand is that, it is the best solution, until under display hidden camera technology is good enough. And that will be truly amazing, at least for me. But for now, status indicator around the punch hole is what Samsung is going to serve us. Last year Samsung filed five patents, with China's National Intellectual Property Administration. The idea was to present a graphical representation around the selfie camera that can give us some info. It can be used to show the download status, or show a timer. It is upon their creativity, what they can come up with. Talking about the most loved gone feature is the headphone jack. Personally I would love if Samsung, again comes with headphone jack, but unfortunately, this is not going to happen. I can see two reasons for this. First, removing it, will make room for other upgraded components, and second, this will promote buying of their wireless earphones. What do you think, do you want Samsung, to bring back the headphone jack? Take the poll, above in the i button, and let us know. In a recent interview with Greggles TV, Young Ross unveiled some accurate information regarding Note 20's display, processor and battery. Ross said that the Galaxy Note 20, will have a display size of 6.42 inches, and the Note 20 Plus will have a 6.87 inch screen. Young further stated that Note 20 and Note 20 Plus will both get, an optional 120Hz refresh rate display. Young suggested that the Galaxy Note 20, could use Qualcomm's second-generation, Sonic Max fingerprint scanner. The 3D sensor is not only 17 times larger, but it can also read two fingerprints simultaneously. Do you see any useful benefits of reading two fingerprints simultaneously? Speaking of Qualcomm, Young also reiterated how the US version of the Galaxy Note 20 will have the Snapdragon 865, Qualcomm's flagship, system on a chip while other models in Europe will use Samsung's own Exynos 990 chip. When it comes to battery size, Young said that the Note 20 phones, will be pretty similar to the Galaxy S20 handsets, with batteries ranging between 4000 mAh and 5000 mAh. Alongside the chip, Samsung will reportedly give both the Note 20 and Note 20 Plus 16GB random access memory. To me, this upgrade seems exciting. According to sources in Korea, Samsung has decided that it's going to do the inevitable. Given the ongoing COVID-19 global pandemic, Samsung is going to unveil the Galaxy Note 20 series through an online event. This is hardly surprising, given the way things have been going recently. But it would mark the first time, Samsung's ever launched a flagship series of devices like this. I hope that you all are doing fine, and this pandemic will end soon. Which of the Note 20 upgrades, excited you, tell us in the comment section below. Thank you for watching this video, 
Show your love if you loved this video by liking it and share it with your friends. We also made some awesome renders of a rollable phone. The video is one of its kind on YouTube, so make sure you watch this video too. Subscribe to our channel and make sure you stay tuned to watch more videos like this. S-Link